Jericho, Hebrew, Yericho, is a city located near the Jordan River in the West Bank. It is the administrative seat of the Jericho Governorate. In 2007, it had a population of 18,346. The city was occupied by Jordan from 1949 to 1967, and has been held under Israeli occupation since 1967. Administrative control was handed over to the Palestinian Authority in 1994. It is believed to be one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. Archaeologists have unearthed the remains of more than 20 successive settlements in Jericho, the first of which dates back 11,000 years years, almost to the very beginning of the Holocene epoch of the Earth's history. Jericho is described in the Hebrew Bible as the city of palm trees. Copious springs in and around the city attracted human habitation for thousands of years. Etymology Jericho's name in Hebrew, Yericho, is thought to derive from Canaanite word Rhea, though an alternative theory holds that it is derived from the word meaning moon in Canaanite, or the name of the lunar deity Yarik, for whom since the city was an early center of worship, Jericho's Arabic name Arihab means fragrant and derives from same Canaanite word Rhea, of the same meaning as in Hebrew, history. Although it is disputed, it is claimed Jericho may be the oldest continuously occupied city in the world, and it is also the oldest known walled city in the world. Ancient period Natchafian hunter-gatherers 10,000 BCE Jericho has evidence of settlement dating back to 10,000 BCE. During the Younger Dryas period of cold and drought permanent habitation of any one location was not possible. However, the spring at what would become Jericho was a popular camping ground for Natchafian hunter-gatherer groups, who left a scattering of crescent-shaped microlith tools behind them. Around 9600 BCE the droughts and cold of the Younger Dryas stadial had come to an end making it possible for Natchafian groups to extend the duration of their stay, eventually leading to year-round habitation and permanent settlement. Pre-Pottery Neolithic Age 9600 BCE The first permanent settlement on the site of Jericho developed near the Ines Sultan Spring between 10,000 and 9,000 BCE. As the world warmed up, a new culture based on agriculture and sedentary dwelling emerged which archaeologists have termed pre-pottery Neolithic A. PPNA villages are characterized by small circular dwellings, burial of the dead under the floor of buildings, reliance on hunting wild game, the cultivation of wild or domestic cereals, and no use of pottery yet. At Jericho, circular dwellings were built of clay and straw bricks left to dry in the sun, which were plastered together with a mud mortar. Each house measured about 5 meters across and was roofed with mud-smeared brush. Hearths were located within and outside the homes. By about 9400 BC the town had grown to more than 70 modest dwellings. Estimates put the population as high as 2 to 3,000 people and as low as 2 to 300. Most strikingly, this early town featured a massive stone wall over 3.6 meters high and 1.8 meters wide at the base. Inside this wall stood a tower over 3.6 meters high, containing an internal staircase with 22 stone steps. The wall and tower have no known precedent in human culture, and would have taken a hundred men more than a hundred days to construct. The wall may have served as a defense against flood water, with the tower used for ceremonial purposes. After a few centuries the first settlement was abandoned. A second settlement, established in 6800 BCE, perhaps represents the work of an invading people who absorbed the original inhabitants into their dominant culture. Artifacts dating from this period include ten plastered human skulls, painted so as to reconstitute the individual's features. These represent either teraphim or the first example of portraiture in art history. 
and it is thought that they were kept in people's homes while the bodies were buried. A succession of settlements followed from 4500 BCE onward, the largest constructed in 2600 BCE. Bronze Age This section deals with the archaeology of Bronze Age Jericho, for the biblical battle. See Battle of Jericho Jericho was continually occupied into the Middle Bronze Age, it was destroyed in the Late Bronze after which it no longer served as an urban center. The city was surrounded by extensive defensive walls strengthened with rectangular towers, and possessed an extensive cemetery with vertical shaft tombs and underground burial chambers. The elaborate funeral offerings in some of these may reflect the emergence of local kings. Iron Age Teles Sultan remained unoccupied from the end of the 15th to the 10th 9th centuries BCE. When the city was rebuilt by the 7th century it had become an extensive town, but this settlement was destroyed in the Babylonian conquest of Judah in the late 6th century and the mound remained unoccupied during the Persian, through Hellenistic periods. Classical Antiquity Persian and Hellenistic periods Jericho went from being an administrative center of Yehud Medinata under Persian rule to serving as the private estate of Alexander the Great between 336 and 323 BCE after his conquest of the region. In the middle of the 2nd century BCE Jericho was under Hellenistic rule of the Seleucid Empire. When the Syrian general Bacchidas built a number of forts to strengthen the defenses of the area around Jericho against the revolt by the Maccabees, one of these forts, built at the entrance to Wadi Kjelt, was later refortified by Herod the Great, who named it Cyprus after his mother. The city came to be ruled by the Hasmoneans, a dynasty descending from a priestly group from the tribe of Levi, following the success of the Maccabean Revolt, and remained such until the Roman influence over the area brought Herod to claim the Hasmonean throne of Judea. Herodian period Herod originally leased Jericho from Cleopatra after Mark Antony gave it to her as a gift. After their joint suicide in 30 BC, Octavian assumed control of the Roman Empire and granted Herod absolute rule over Jericho. As part of the new Herodian domain, Herod's rule oversaw the construction of a hippodrome theater to entertain his guests and new aqueducts to irrigate the area below the cliffs and reach his winter palaces built at the site of Tulul Abu El alike. The dramatic murder of Aristobulus III in a swimming pool at the Winto Palace is near Jericho, as described by the Roman Jewish historian Josephus took place during a banquet organized by Herod's Hasmonean mother-in-law. After the construction of the palaces the city had functioned not only as an agricultural center and as a crossroad, but also as a winter resort for Jerusalem's aristocracy. Herod was succeeded in Judea by his son, Archelaus, who built an adjacent village in his name, Archele, to house workers for his date plantation. First century Jericho is described in Strabo's geography as follows. Jericho is a plain surrounded by a kind of mountainous country, which in a way, slopes toward it like a theater. Here is the Phenicon, which is mixed also with all kinds of cultivated and fruitful trees, though it consists mostly of palm trees. It is 100 stadia in length and is everywhere watered with streams. Here also are the palace and the balsam park, the rock-cut tombs of a Herodian and Hasmonean era a cemetery lie in the lowest part of the cliffs, between Nusay Balor Ashir and Jabal Karuntal in Jericho and were used between 100 BC and 68 CE. In the New Testament the Christian Gospels state that Jesus of Nazareth passed through Jericho where he healed one or two to the east around which the modern town is centered. Christianity took hold in the city during the Byzantine era and the area was heavily populated. A number of monasteries and churches were built, including St. George of Kosobar in 340 AD in a domed church dedicated to St. Helisius. At least two synagogues were also built in the 6th century AD. 
the monasteries were abandoned after the Persian invasion of 614. Arab Caliphate era Jericho, by then named Arihab, in Arabic variation, became part of Jund Filastan, part of the larger province of Bilad al-Sham. The Arab Muslim historian Musa B. UQBA recorded that Caliph Umar ibn al khattab exiled the Jews and Christians of Kabar to Jericho. By 659, that district had come under the control of Muawiyah, founder of the Umayyad dynasty. That year, an earthquake destroyed Jericho. A decade later, the pilgrim Markulf visited Jericho and found it in ruins. All its miserable Canaanite inhabitants now dispersed in shanty towns around the Dead Seashore, a palatial complex long attributed to the 10th Umayyad Caliph, Hisham ibn Abd al-Malik and thus known as Hisham's Palace, is located at Kerbat al-Mafyair, about one mile north of Tel Es Sultan. This desert castle, or QASR, was more likely built caliph by Walid ibn Yazid, who was assassinated before he could complete the construction. The remains of two mosques, a courtyard, mosaics, and other items can still be seen in situ today. The unfinished structure was largely destroyed in an earthquake in 747. Umayyad rule ended in 750 and was followed by the Arab caliphates of the Abbasid and Fatimid dynasties. Irrigated agriculture was developed under Islamic rule, reaffirming Jericho's reputation as a fertile city of the palms. Al-Maqdizi, the Arab geographer, wrote in 985 that the water of Jericho is held to be the highest and best in all Islam. Bananas are plentiful, also dates and flowers of fragrant odor. Jericho is also referred to by him as one of the principal cities of Jund Philaston. The city flourished until 1071 with the invasion of the Seljuk Turks, followed by the upheavals of the Crusades. Crusader rule in 1179, the Crusaders rebuilt the monastery of St. George of Kozabar at its original site six miles from the center of town. They also built another two churches and a monastery dedicated to John the Baptist, and accredited with introducing sugarcane production to the city. The site of Tawahines Sukkar holds remains of a Crusader sugar production facility. In 1187, the Crusaders were evicted by the Ayyubid forces of Saladin after their victory in the Battle of Hattin, and the town slowly went into decline. Mamluk rule in 1226, Arab geographer Yaqut al Hamawai said of Jericho, It has many palm trees, also sugar cane in quantities, and bananas. The best of all the sugar in the Garland is made here. In the 14th century, Abu al-Fida writes there are sulfur mines in Jericho, the only ones in Palestine. Ottoman era In the late years of Ottoman rule, Jericho formed part of the Waqf and Emirat of Jerusalem. The villages processed indigo as one source of revenue, using a cauldron specifically for this purpose that was loaned to them by the Ottoman authorities in Jerusalem. For most of the Ottoman period, Jericho was a small village of farmers susceptible to attacks by Bedouins. The plain around is extremely fertile, the soil is middling fat, but it is watered by several rivulets, which flow into the Jordan. Notwithstanding these advantages only the gardens adjacent to the town are cultivated. In the 19th century, European scholars, archaeologists and missionaries visited often. The first excavation at Tel Es, Sultan, was carried out in 1867, and the monasteries of St. George of Kozabar and John the Baptist were refounded and completed in 1901 and 1904, respectively. Modern era after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire at the end of World War I, Jericho came under the rule of the mandatory Palestine. The British built fortresses in Jericho during World War II with the help of the Jewish company Solil Bonaire, and bridges were rigged with explosives in preparation for a possible invasion by German Allied forces. In 1927, an earthquake struck and affected Jericho and other cities. Around 300 people died. Jericho was occupied by Transjordan during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The Jericho Conference, 
organized by King Abdullah and attended by over 2,000 Palestinian delegates in 1948 proclaimed His Majesty Abdullah as King of all Palestine and called for the unification of Palestine and Transjordan as a step toward full Arab unity in mid-1950. Jordan formally annexed the West Bank and Jericho residents, like other residents of West Bank localities became Jordanian citizens. Jericho was occupied by Israel during the Six-Day War of 1967 along with the rest of the West Bank. It was the first city handed over to Palestinian Authority control in accordance with the Oslo Accords. The limited Palestinian self-rule of Jericho was agreed on in the Gaza-Jericho Agreement of 4 May 1994. Part of the agreement was a protocol on economic relations, signed on 29 April 1994. The city is in an enclave of the Jordan Valley that is in Area A of the West Bank, while the surrounding area is designated as being in Area C under full Israeli military control. Four roadblocks encircled the enclave, restricting Jericho's Palestinian population's movement through the West Bank. In response to the 2001 Second Intifada and suicide bombings, Jericho was reoccupied by Israeli troops. A two-meter-deep trench was built around a large part of the city to control Palestinian traffic to and from Jericho. On 14 March 2006, the Israel Defense Forces launched Operation Bringing Home the Goods, raiding a Jericho prison to capture PFLP General Secretary. Ahmad Sadat and five other prisoners charged with assassinating Israeli tourist minister Rehav Amzivi who were about to be released. After Hamas assaulted a neighborhood in Gaza mostly populated by the Futter-aligned Hills clan in response to their attack on Hamas which killed six of its members, the Hills clan was relocated to Jericho on 4 August 2008. In 2009, Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Salam Fayyad in U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs David Johnson inaugurated the Presidential Guard Training Center in Jericho, a $9.1 million training facility for Palestinian Authority security forces built with U.S. funding. The city's current mayor is Hassan Salah, a former lawyer. Geography Jericho is located 258 meters below sea level in an oasis in Wadi Kielt in the Jordan Valley. The nearby spring of Ines Sultan produces 3.8 cubic meters of water per minute, irrigating some 10 square kilometers through multiple channels and feeding into the Jordan River 10 kilometers away. Annual rainfall is 160 mm, mostly concentrated between November and February. The average temperature is 15 degrees Celsius in January and 31 degrees Celsius in August. The constant sunshine, rich alluvial soil, and abundant water from the spring have always made Jericho an attractive place for settlement. Demographics in the first census carried out by the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics, in 1997, Jericho's population was 14,674. Palestinian refugees constituted a significant 43.6% of the residents or 6,393 people. The gender makeup of the city was 51% male and 49% female. Jericho has a young population, with nearly half of the inhabitants being under the age of 20. People between the ages of 20 and 44 made up 36.2% of the population, 10.7% between the ages of 45 and 64, and 3.6% were over the age of 64. In the 2007 census by the PCBS, Jericho had a population of 18,346. Demographics have varied widely depending on the dominant ethnic group and rule in the region over the past 3,000 years. In a 1945 land and population survey by Sami Hadawi, 3,010 inhabitants is the figure given for Jericho, of which 94% were Arab and 6% were Jews. 
Today, the overwhelming majority of the population is Muslim. The Christian community makes up around 1% of the population. A large community of black Palestinians is present in Jericho. Economy In 1994, Israel and the Palestinians signed an economic accord that enabled Palestinians in Jericho to open banks collect taxes and engage in export and import in preparation for self-rule. In 1998, a $150 million casino hotel was built in Jericho with the backing of Yasser Arafat. One of Jericho's primary sources of income is Christian tourism. In 2010, Jericho, with its proximity to the Dead Sea, was declared the most popular destination among Palestinian tourists. Agriculture is another source of income, with banana groves ringing the city. The Jericho Agro-Industrial Park is a public-private enterprise being developed in the Jericho area. Agricultural processing companies are being offered financial concessions to lease plots of land in the park in a bid to boost Jericho's economy, schools and religious institutions. In 1925, Christian Friars opened a school for 100 pupils that became the Terra Santa School. The city has 22 state schools and a number of private schools. Healthcare In April 2010, the United States Agency for International Development held a groundbreaking ceremony for the renovation of the Jericho Governmental Hospital. USAID is providing $2.5 million in funding for this project.